Good morning, everyone, and welcome to Vlogmas Day 7, I believe. <laughs> So I have the Santa Claus playing in the background. McKinnon is playing with this crinkly book that she loves. <laughs> but it is time to do advent calendars. So let's see. Looking for seven. Hi, Riley. Set, oh no, that's 16. Seven. Oh, here we go, this itty bitty one. Ah, I got it open with one hand. Okay. I feel like Santa Claus is really loud in the, the background, so I'm sorry about that. She will give birth to a son, and you are to give him the name Jesus, because he will save his people from their sins. Matthew 121. Riley really wants to be a part of this. <laughs> Alright, put it up here with these others that I still haven't put on the tree. Now it's time for Disney! Okay, seven, seven, seven. Oh, here it is. Oh, Riley's pushing my hand. <laughs> okay, got it. Presents underneath the tree, one for you and one for me. Riley is pushing my hand. <laughs> I love you, Riley. <laughs> okay. Oh, Riley. <laughs> You just really want to get my attention, don't you? Don't worry, I see you. Okay. I can get this out. I'm super excited because Matthew is bringing home something that I need to do a Christmas DIY. I can't decide if I want to do it tonight and show y'all or wait and do it tomorrow. But I will show you what it includes, like what I'll be using other than what Matthew's bringing home tonight. So, first, have some red bead on, like it's on strings, like beading strings. I really don't know what that's called. Um, a mini strand of multicolored Christmas lights. I don't really use multicolored very often, but I wanted to use it for this project. Some glittery mini gold bobble ornaments and then a glittery bow. Don't know if I'm going to use the bow yet. Um, Y'all might recognize this next bit from uh, previous Christmases. These old, it's not focusing in and it's driving me insane. Okay, now you can kind of see it's old um, pipe cleaner candy cane ornaments. I'm pretty sure I'm going to use those. And then the rest of this, I don't know if I'm going to use. But when I do the DIY, D, DIY, DIY, you will see what I use. Um, oh, and then I have these in case the um, little ornament hooks break or something because some of those don't really work very well. But there's everything I need other than what Matthew is bringing home for me. I really want to do it tonight, but I'm thinking maybe I should just save it for tomorrow because I have other stuff I need to get done tonight, but I'm super excited about it. McKinnon! Hi, baby! Hi! You are so cute. You are the cutest baby in the world. No one is as lucky as we are because we got the cutest baby in the world. Didn't we? You see yourself? <laughs> She absolutely loves this Minnie Mouse blanket. You can't see Minnie Mouse, she's like down there, but she loves this. She loves the, having a tiny blanket she can grip onto and chew on, because she likes to do that. Anytime I come to see McKinnon when she's on her play mat, Henry comes down here and wants attention, which I understand. He doesn't get as much attention these days with having a baby and all, so. When I come and see McKinnon, he's like, all right, perfect time for me to get some attention, too. But we did have cuddles today, Henry. You sweet little kitty. Hi, McKinnon. Are you loving your hand right now? Does it taste so good? I have a Christmas carol on TV. Um, <laughs> are you loving having Henry there? She's like reaching up to hit him. 
not hit him. Pet him. <laughs> um, but anyway, Matthew's not gonna be home super late tonight, so that's nice. He's gonna pick up what I need, and then hopefully I can shower when he gets home. I feel like showering <laughs> is such a like, what's the word? I don't know, rare thing that I can do. <laughs> Because I'm definitely not able to do it during the day, especially right now, because she she takes like 10, 15 minute naps and I can't like get ready for the shower, shower, and then do everything I have to do after a shower during that time period. So it usually has to happen at night, which I usually shower at night anyway, because I don't like to shower in the morning, then work out and get sweaty, and then I also don't like to work out and then shower, because then I'm like really hot after a workout and I don't want to take a shower, like a warm shower. Anyway, long story short, I prefer to take showers at night. Anyway, I think I'm gonna lay down with McKinnon, and do some tummy time and watch Christmas movie until Matthew gets home. So I think after this, Elf comes on. I feel like a lot of people are gonna judge me for letting McKinnon watch Christmas movies with me, but y'all, I have been listening, listening? I've been looking forward to having time with her to watch Christmas movies since I found out I was pregnant. Like I was so excited to watch Christmas movies with her, even though she doesn't really know what's happening right now, but whatever. It's the memory for me. <laughs> anyway, I'm gonna go watch Christmas movies with her and cuddle. Y'all, you will not believe what just happened. It is 7.15. And I just put McKinnon down for sleep. What? I can't believe it. I, she usually takes a bottle around 7 o'clock and she'll take like a little nap before I go and put her down. And the reason she usually gets put, like put down for bed really late is because we go to bed really late and she ends up just staying up. But she looked tired. I hope one of the cats didn't just wake her up. So she looked tired, so I was like, okay, I'll go in the bedroom, turn off the lights, give her her bottle in there, and see if she ends up going to sleep. And she was out, like didn't even drink more than an ounce, and she was out. So I'm super excited. I know she'll probably wake up to have a little bit more to, before she like goes to sleep for the night. Hopefully I don't pay for it by her waking up at like seven, because I'm still not going to be going to bed until late because I have stuff to do, so we'll see. <laughs> so McKinnon going to sleep early lasted about 30 minutes. <laughs> She's now down here playing Love and Life. <laughs> when she woke up, I tried to give her... Um, her bottle to see if like she'd go back to sleep if she just wanted to eat a little bit um, but she had maybe half an ounce and then she was like I want to play she did not want a bottle did not want to go to sleep so I was like okay so I brought her in here I'm letting her play and wear herself out basically um, and she's like whined a little bit but I can tell between a uh, I kind of want to eat and I really want to eat cry and like when she whines it's just kind of like eh, I want to eat never mind I want to play like <laughs> it doesn't she doesn't really want to eat she just kind of whines but I'm letting her wear herself out that way I can feed her and she'll go to sleep so yeah um tonight I finished my Christmas list for myself um, I sent it to Matthew and I'm so happy I got it done. I I hate trying to figure out what I want for Christmas. I have to like go and be like, okay, what have I been needing? What is something that like I don't, like I wouldn't buy for myself, stuff like that. So I, I put some things on there that I've like really been wanting but I wouldn't buy for myself. Um, so I sent Matthew a Christmas list and I put stars next to the things I really want. And I've been putting together things that we should maybe put on McKinnon's um, Christmas list to Santa. If anyone has any like recommendations on things to get for a, well she'll be four months 
right before Christmas. So if you have any tips on what to get for a four month old, let me know in the comments so we can put that on her list for Santa.